Ah, so in light of the left's kamikaze of stupid and their endless talk of abortion for the midterms, I thought I'd use it to further evolve an argument that I've spoken of in the past with regards to the current state of society. As I've said before, I think it is entirely possible to be both pro-choice and pro-life at the same time, because while the argument from either side may encompass abortion overall, they're coming at it from two entirely different perspectives that don't make them mutually exclusive. The pro-choice argument is, I don't want the state to tell me what I can and cannot do with my own body, which is a political statement advocating for privacy against the intervention of the state. The pro-life argument is, we find abortion reprehensible, which is a declaration of personal morality. So it's perfectly logical, as far as I'm concerned, to hold both of these positions at the same time. Doesn't necessarily need to encompass only abortion. Can be anything, drugs, alcohol, tattoos, you name it. Now here's a dilemma and where it hits a snag. This is where people's, I don't want to say ideological principles need to concede ground, more so adhere to objective reality. So in the case of abortion, it would be not outlawing it entirely, it's granting the state far too much power, yet finding it unethical because society is using it far too frequently to the point where your own moral fortitude is stronger than the rest of society. And it's beginning to tilt you more towards interventionist pragmatism by a force you'd rather avoid. This is where the two sides on the right, the conservatives and libertarians, need to listen to each other because they make excellent bedfellows. Both sides have a point and they need to agree to it. The conservatives must listen to the libertarians who say these activities are engaged in by consenting adults. It is not the state's business. It must not play the role of the moral arbiter in society. That is not its function. And the conservatives can agree to this. The libertarians must listen to the conservatives who say, whilst we agree these activities are no business of the state, acknowledge that these activities are vices and people are prone to corruption rather easily. These are not good for the social fabric of our society. Copious engagement in these activities, or rampant consumerism in general for that matter, is not sufficient alone to stabilize society. Your civilization will enter a cultural death spiral. We're in one right now. The progressive secular world post the Enlightenment is not a successful one because it doesn't have an ethic beyond cooperation for materialistic gain. Our improvements have been in spite of it, not because of it. Society, well, voluntarily, mind you, to keep consistency with the libertarians, needs a moral anchor to ward people away from the excess of decadence. This is where religion and the church comes into play, and it must wield centralized power. Its role is to be unwavering, not subjected to the whims of political influence, which I'm under no illusion is easier said than done, but nonetheless, its order must be absolute. Something to keep the family unit grounded and intact because it is the backbone of society, not just for stability, but for human happiness. In order to maximize liberty, you need to have some things in your society that are absolute, things like property rights, for example. But if you let the consumerism spiral out of control and the decadence reach critical mass, People become bored and, frankly, kind of crazy and gravitate towards all manner of things to fill the void in a life of no meaning, like drugs, popping hormones like their Skittles, mutilate their genitals, or act like complete balance for a crisis that doesn't even exist. This is why it's of grave importance to keep the value of your moral anchor in high order. Because if it's voluntary and it loses favor in society as the consumerism begins to further desecrate the social cohesion, it will cause criminal elements. People will look for a quick fix to the problem as the anchor that used to keep this at bay is either too weak to fix it or will take far too long to resolve the problem that requires an immediate resolution. And in the chaos, certain institutions will undoubtedly use it to further increase their own power as people look towards an authority for aid, which will always result in the growth of the state which, if you're a conservative, you frown upon. If you're a libertarian, it fills you with unmitigated revulsion. And that is all for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.